Welcome back to Sexified Fallout 4. I'm Rook, this lovely lady is nasty, and if you couldn't tell, we're in the Institute. I wouldn't be here if not for your son. Oh, okay, everybody knows my life story, but I don't know about these people, nor do I really care, because we just are here to talk to whoever the, the directorate is at, for the directorate meeting. And that's what we're going to do. It's above us somewhere here. So let's just run to you. will notice I've still got this same armor on. Well, it was we were wearing a hazmat suit last time around. But now we're back in our armor. And where's the directorate meeting? It's still above us. Somewhere. All right. So she doesn't mind running. It's good exercise. And, you know, she looks good doing it. And here we are at the directorate meeting. Great. Good, we're all here. I think it's time we begin. Sir, excuse me, but what exactly is she doing here? I will address that issue. But there are other subjects that require our attention first. The level of unrest in the Commonwealth continues to rise, as we're all aware. Your report. All Institute facilities remain completely secure, with the exception of one notable breach. Otherwise, internally, things are as tight as they've ever been. Dr. Ayo has been keeping an eye on things topside. Yes. Um, watchers show no additional threats beyond those previously identified. We're still monitoring the increased activity around Ford Independence, but there are no immediate signs we should be concerned. Boston International Airport remains occupied, with Brotherhood presence noted at several other points throughout the Commonwealth. Intelligence suggests that this railroad me, continues yes, to operate and is becoming more suspicious ambitious. Lately, SRB agents are monitoring all known situations, protocols. sir. Very good, Maybe thank you. It's clear that our safety view. needs to be the primary Something concern wrong. going no. forward. We're just to that end, where are we at face in light of some uh, recent situations? Sir, are you sure this is the time to be discussing it? Given, well, considering all parties present? Thank you. Ah, yes, that's true. Have you heard anything about Phase 3? Man, you know, I this sucks. I had that freaking synth in the background chattering, like, trying to interrogate people. And, and I'm trying to listen to what these guys are talking about. And it would have been nice if you had offered me a seat. What's Phase 3? It's very important to us. Power is, as I'm sure you've seen above ground, a very valuable commodity. I'm not talking about some abstract concept of control. I mean real, tangible power. The kind that keeps the lights on. With every advance the Institute makes, our need for raw power increases. Many compromises and sacrifices have been made over the years to allow progress to continue. What kind of compromises? We have at times had to rely on drawing power from above ground installations. It risks personnel and equipment, but no longer. Phase three is simply the activation of a nuclear reactor that can provide enough power to the Institute now and forever. It will ensure not just our survival, but our prosperity. Can you tell me more about this reactor? Certainly. It was originally built for the Commonwealth Institute of Technology before the war, but was only for testing. Over the years, we've advanced the technology, made a great many improvements, and are finally nearly ready to activate it. The reactor is close to ready, but recent tests have determined we have a few tasks ahead of us. Thus, we come to phase three, and to how you will help. Sir. Yes, Dr. Ayo. Previously, we would rely on Kellogg for above-ground operations, yes? Well, he is gone. While I am not overly fond of putting my own mother in harm's way, she has proven more than capable of handling herself. Uh, y yes but... This is not a matter for debate. Now, there is one more subject that requires discussion. I don't know that this is the time. Dr. Holdren, it is time. Please. As I'm sure several of you are already aware, I have been under Dr. Volkert's care for some time. I'm sorry, this is difficult for me. Our best efforts have failed. Every experimental treatment we could devise has been unsuccessful. I'm... 
I'm sorry to say I am dying. What? Please, be serious. everyone, please. I am sorry. This is not how I wanted to tell you. But we're running out of time. You're dying? I'm afraid so. A very aggressive form of cancer. Believe me when I say we've done everything we can. We can talk more later. Right now, the future of the Institute is at stake. The Institute cannot survive without leadership. The Directorate must continue to govern with the best interest of all in mind. To that end, I am naming my mother as my successor. Oh, oh my. Boy. You can't be serious. Really? You Seems can't be serious. Choice. Yeah. How can you possibly justify this? She isn't one of us. She isn't even a scientist. Ignoring your borderline insubordinate tone, I will simply say this. The Institute has enough scientists. What it needs is a leader. I believe my mother has already proven herself more than capable in that regard. This will conclude this meeting. Thank you. Well, uh... X688 sounded very impressed with your work at Libertalia. He doesn't give praise lightly. Well done. They don't seem to like me very much, but they compliment me anyway. And you guys, anything else, Doctor? Dr. Lee? Tell me about the people in your division. I'm not sure what there is to say. Dr. Watson is the Specialist Project's lead scientist. He's, um, how to put it, uh, very organized and precise. Dr. Ormond is one of the youngest scientists in the Institute, and she's something of a prodigy when it comes to physics. Oh, okay. Unit B-592 is undergoing the reclamation process as we speak. Before long, he'll be back in the workforce. Well, that's a lot of information that I didn't really care to hear, but what's the deal, Father? I couldn't be more proud of what we've achieved. Really? I had no idea. I know this is... Well, it's a lot to take in at once. I'm sorry, Mother. I hope it wasn't too presumptuous of me to put you in charge without even asking first. It was. What would it mean to be in charge? Most divisions of the Institute are fairly autonomous, perfectly capable of functioning without intervention. Where those divisions interact, however, problems can arise. You'd lead the Directorate in setting policy, resolving disputes, and the like. There's no question that some of the Directorate, and the Institute at large, will need reassurances about your appointment. That's why I'd like you to take charge of this latest operation. Dr. Fillmore can fill you in on the details. There are hard decisions ahead, for all of us. But for you especially. I know that you'll do the right thing. Well, okay, man, you know, just when I think I I know what I want to do, we're going to take all their stuff. Um, then things changed. Mass fusion. Okay. Well, now I'm supposed to go do something with mass fusion. Like I was going to side with the railroad, but now I'm they're putting me in charge here. Like, just like that. Director, it's recording number two. Let's listen to it. Look, Director, I'm going to make the same recommendation I did last time. We did everything we could. Four years dedicated to preserving this Commonwealth provisional government. You've seen the same reports I have. It's falling apart and fast. We need a plan for what happens when that fall is complete. I know some of the other divisions have suggested we just cut off all contact, hide underground, and pretend nobody's home. That would, in my opinion, be a mistake. We can't just give up on these people. And with the Android program, we don't have to. We'll soon have the capabilities to deploy androids to the surface in great enough numbers to maintain order. Just, just think about it, alright? Keep it in mind moving forward. Huh. Okay. Well, um... Yeah, well, back to the task at hand, I... it's... 
now I don't know what I want to do. I'm not scared of the surface. Well, you should be. It's scary out there. Um, you, Doctor. Busy day for you, isn't it? Well, it's about to get busier. You're going to lead this operation, I'm told. Yeah, what operation? What the hell is this operation about? Hey, relax. We wouldn't send you off without the proper information. Recent events have upset our timetable. Getting the reactor online has become our number one priority. It needs to be running, well, yesterday. We're going to have to cut some corners. I'm not thrilled, but it means we'll need to rely on some pre-war tech. You're going to the mass fusion building to acquire a beryllium agitator for us. What's a beryllium agitator? The details would be lost on you. No offense. The point is, it'll allow us to boost the reactor's power and get it running sooner than planned. You just keep me safe. I'll worry about the agitator. Is that really necessary? I'm sure I could handle this by myself. Yes, it really is. Not only is this tech sensitive, it's old. Look, I'll take care of it. You just make sure I come back in one piece. You're going? That complicates things. Not really, no. I admit I'm not fond of going up top, but I promise to stay out of your way. This device we're after? It's very sensitive equipment, and it's pretty damn old. It's not that I don't trust you. It's just that I trust myself more. So, are you going to put up a stink, or can we get moving? No way. You're not going. You'd be a liability. Well, that's about the most insulting thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> okay, you're on your own then. Good luck. Not to put more pressure on you, but we have to move quickly on this. Word is that the Brotherhood is nosing around the area. We don't want them getting the agitator before we do. Head on up to the relay, and they'll get you over to Mass Fusion in a flash. Pun sort of intended. Okay, good. I At least I don't have to take her with us, because she would be a liability. Let's face it, every time I take one of these weirdos with us, they get killed. So, that's, you know, it's mostly my fault, because I just run them headlong into danger, but... A clean and healthy work environment is essential to maximum productivity. Yeah, well, you look clean, too. So, alright, well, put on some clothes, though. Uh... Right, what are we doing? We're going to go... Oh my god. Alright, let's get out of here. We've got to go to Mass Fusion and find some beryllium agitator. And Lord knows what that is, but it doesn't really matter as long as I don't have to take some deadbeat along with us that's just going to get in the way. And Sounds like those raiders at Libertalia were quite a handful. They were. I could tell you all about it, but we're on a timetable now, apparently. And so... Um, how, how do we make this thing work? Push the button. And nothing happens. Pushing buttons. Okay, it's busy. But not so busy that it could come for us. Alright, good. And up we go. Wait a minute. Why I'm going up. I'm supposed to be down. Why am I going up? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I've ever ridden this elevator, though. This place is big, and it's very nice and clean and stuff. I like it. Okay, now now I need to go up more. Okay. Well. There we go. We're, we're here, and I've got freaking dog hair in my mouth. All right. It's good. Uh, I don't know what any of that means. Fine. I don't. I wasn't supposed to activate it anyway. I'm supposed to go to the. Okay, let's take this stuff. I'm supposed to go over here and use the relay. Oh, relay to mass fusion will make you a permanent enemy of the Brotherhood of Steel. Well, hell. Um, that is that is interesting. So if we do this, that's it for the Brotherhood. And that raises some questions. Like, for one, is that what I really want to do? And I don't know. But I do know that... Uh, 
I would really like some input from you guys. So if you would, please uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you think. With next step, should we go? I think we should, uh, but I'm not sure. So yeah, if you're liking this, smash the like button, leave me your comments, tips, tricks, recommendations, or death threats. Subscribe, share, and favorite, and we will talk with all of you again very, very soon.